Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 221. Today what we're talking about is lateral knee pain or outside knee pain, that knee pain that's felt on the outside of our leg. A lot of us will attack this by just going straight at the tissue, smashing up and mashing up the outside of our leg, and that may or may not work for a bunch of you that are out there. However, if it's not working for you, it may be time to go upstream. Here's the reason why. When we talk about the tissues on the outside portion of our hip, okay, some of them assist with hip flexion, okay? One of those muscles is what we call the tensor fascia lata, or TFL. It's a it's kind of a diamond-shaped muscle that takes up a lot of real estate right in this region right here, okay? Um, it kind of goes from the beginning of that little hip bone that we have, and it kind of comes up and around and follows that hip crease over around there, kind of culminates into a more fibrous band. So the meat of the tissue is up here. And then what happens is that meat of the tissue turns into this fibrous band I'm sure you guys have all heard of, especially if you're in the running world, it's called the ITB, or iliotibial band. Now that iliotibial band comes down the outside of our thigh, okay, and then attaches into the outside portion of our knee. Okay, it does a little bit um, in the lateral retinaculum, don't necessarily worry about the, the big words. It attaches down to the, the real estate down here on the outside of our knee. Now you can just see, if you get really, really close, come here for me really close, if, uh, if I was just to pull, pull my skin, up like that. You see that, how that works? How the skin is moving up and to the outside, okay? So if I was a person who had really, really tight hip flexors, okay, what's gonna happen is this tissue is gonna contract up here and it's gonna pull up like that. And what, can do, what that can do is it can affect the tracking of my knee and the way that my kneecap works right there, okay? So in the end, that change in biomechanics could actually then influence the properties of our knee and cause us some pain for a while, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend some time loosening up the tissues of the outside of the hip here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it using one of these larger mobility balls and uh, we're gonna kinda go from there. We have two sizes here. We have a larger mobility ball, somewhere around the size of a, of a softball, and then we have the, the regular lacrosse style ball. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get this into the outside of my hip, okay? So if I was to make landmarks, I have that little knob that's right in the front. All I wanna do is kinda come back and down from that knob. That's the, the area that I'm trying to get into. And then I'm gonna cause some compression on it by just laying over top of it right there. You know you're in the right spot because this is kind of a hot spot on everyone and it's really, really hard not to feel anything here, okay? If you feel nothing, just kind of move your hips back and forth until you find that, that, that honey hole, so to speak. You're gonna notice that my back leg here, okay, is just on my toes. That's, what, that's the leg that I use to modulate the pressure that's on my hip. Because what's gonna happen is, is I'm actually gonna be set up where this knee slides underneath, okay? So I'll be right here, I'm just gonna start using my hip, and I'm gonna hike my hip up, I'm gonna extend my leg back. I'm gonna hike my hip up, hike my hip up, I'm gonna extend my leg back. Hike my hip up, extend my leg back, okay? And you'll feel the ball roll just a little bit when you do that. If I want a more focal point, okay, and I wanna get a little bit more intense, I go down to the lacrosse ball, it's a little bit harder, and I can definitely get in there a little bit deeper, okay? Same thing goes. Back leg kinda of supports, it kinda of, allows me to do that side bridge, which will modulate the pressure, okay? So from right there, my hip is nice and extended. I bring it all the way up as high as I can. Hip is nice and extended. All the way up as nice as I can, or high as I can. What I'd wanna do is try to collect about 20 repetitions back and forth, those kicks, to see if I can loosen that up. Then, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a corrective taping strategy using some rock tape or kinesiology tape, right? It's a, it's a perfect little example because I see out there, I just had a CrossFit competition today, and uh, don't get me wrong, I'm a big kinesi kinesiology tape lover. However, I see people just like using this um, in, the, in like the, the gallon, I should say, or I guess, I don't know, in like the yard. I don't know, whatever you wanna say. A whole bunch of it is what I mean, okay? This is a really, a really simple way to help improve the tracking of our knee and maybe reduce knee pain if this is the problem, okay? So basically remember what I just said a couple minutes ago, if this is the problem up here and it pulls that knee 
up and to the outside, just like I could with my tissue, right? You can imagine that the kneecap or the patella would kind of come over like this as well. So we want to do the exact opposite, and all we need is one simple piece of tape. We lay our leg at about a 90 degree angle, a regular sitting position. We take our one piece of tape that's about, uh, about a foot long, okay? We're gonna crack it in the middle. We're gonna peel back about two inches, and we're gonna place it with no stretch at all, just to the top outside portion of our knee, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel back some about half of that distance from the tape, and I'm just gonna pull it over using about 50% stretch. The last inch of the tape, I just let roll off. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom piece. I'm gonna go about halfway. I'm gonna pull, and I pull across. And the last inch or so of the tape, I just peel off like such. What did I do here, and what was my overall mechanism of all the stuff I'm trying to change? I'm trying to influence the tissue up here on the top, I'm trying to loosen that tissue up, okay? And I'm trying to stop that pulling mechanism, right? You can actually see it a little bit better. I'm trying to stop that pulling mechanism of the kneecap getting pulled out to the outside of the knee and influence positively the biomechanics of the knee. So, a little two-step process, trying to resolve that stubborn knee pain that's on the outside that you've been mashing away at and not getting any, uh, any traction. So guys, try that out. Let me know how it goes. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.